So in the last video we have seen uh, two steps which is we have done with the first and second step. Now we will move towards the third step. In the third step we have to sort this 2D array in the descending order of the occurrence. right? So if it is uh, example if it is 3 here so it should, it, it should be the first row. So if we have to shift this the whole row uh, upwards then we have to keep it here and then this 6 comma 2 will go up and this 1 1 will come down okay now how to do do that what we'll do is uh, so first we'll say x plus plus because i want to know the number of uh, elements in the number of rows in the 2d array okay now how to sort what i will do is again i will use a method called as sort i will pass uh, b here now b is not a single dimensional array this is two dimensional array right so we have already created a method called a sort which takes one single dimensional array. What I will do is I will create one more array which is a one more method which will take two dimensional array. So I will say public static int which will return me two dimensional array again. And then the method name will be sort which will take int bb and then it will return b once done. Now question arise how to sort the whole row okay now for this what we'll do is we'll have to apply some very basic logic now just imagine if if this were a normal array this is the first row or this is the first element second element third element and fourth, el fourth element again we have to compare the elements and then swap right that's how we sort in this also what we need to do is we have to imagine in a third in the same way but for this what we need to be in a third variable so we'll say, say we'll take a third variable but this is not a normal element every element in this array is an array what i mean by that is every element in this array was an element an integer but every element in this array is itself in, is an array so this is the first element second element third element and fourth element so this itself is an array right so what i will do i will say c of uh, c bracket which is single dimensional array and the size of this array will be two right because we have specifically two elements so we will have only two elements now to swap this or to sort this we'll use same logic of uh, i which is i equal to zero i less than x and i plus plus so x will define the number of uh, rows there we require a for loop for j now so we'll say int j equal to i again the same sorting technique we're applying here which will go till x and j plus plus now once you got these two for loops now let's swap now how to swap this it's very simple so first we have to check if i want to check depend upon this value right so this we are going to compare these values actually this values we need to compare these values and this values are so these are row is x or row is i right and these are my columns so for sure column number is one so to compare we'll say b of i of one if it is less than b of j of one in that scenario we have to swap if it, if it is true we have to swap now how to swap We'll copy that single row, we'll copy this single row in C. So how to copy single row by specifying the index number. So this row is 1, this row is 2, this row is 3, this is 4. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll directly define B of I. B of I is equal to B of J. And then B of J is equal to C. That's it. Now, if you run this code, it will swap, it will sort, it will be, it will sort your two-dimensional array, and you will be getting this output. So this is what we got now, and now we are remaining with the last step is printing these elements. And printing elements is damn simple. What we need to do is to print this. We need to come back to our main method. So by sorting this, will we got the sorted B, which is two-dimensional array. Now to print this we have to use a for loop which will start with 0 
and it will go to the number of again the number of columns which is x and I will say I plus plus now how to print it's very simple I have to check this I have to print four how many times three times I want to print three two times I want to print six two times I want to print one one time it's that simple so for that we'll use again because we are working with matrix we have to use one more instead of using J which is already booked I guess or we can also use J here I'm not wrong okay let's let's use J so int J equal to initially it will be 0 and the value of J will be going to max B of I comma 1 so because we want to check this value so the number of this value will define the number of printing right and then we have to say J plus plus now once you got this loop we just have to say as out will not use new line and will print with a space will print b of i comma zero because we want to print this value here depend upon this number we have to print this value right and that's it this is our code but what we want after need new line so we'll say we'll say it's out uh, that's it and we have done with the code and let's run this and boom so we got the output three fours double three six six and one cool so this is what we need to do to sort the elements as per their frequency cool again if you follow these steps so if you if you if you want to go for a recap just go back to my first video we have talked about the theory of it then go for the second part we talked about the first two step and the third part we talked about the last two steps Cool. If you still find it difficult, I will recommend you to learn single dimensional array, two dimensional array and sorting techniques. So if you are clever with these three concepts, this example is damn easy. Cool. So I hope you like this video. So if you liked it, just do a thumbs up there and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.